nestled on the banks of the Hudson River. Mikey Stadium, it will play host to some of the nation's finest today and another thrilling edition of Army football. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Air Force Falcons, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Army Black Knights. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Black Knights will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Air Force Falcons offense will take the first swing of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. This offense set up with a second and short. Here comes the option. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Fullbacks are very unselfish. One of the most unselfish positions you can find in football. They block 99% of the time. But when you can give him that rock, get a first down, those guys are really big. You know, they're, they're really powerful. They usually fall forward. No nonsense, no jukes. Just hit you in the mouth. They'll run the option. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I love fullbacks that are versatile. You don't see many of them in college football anymore, but this guy's unique. He is a weapon when he has the ball in his hands. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. On the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. To the air, it's Busha. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. And as a defense, you have to be aware, just because this guy lines up all the way to the right, that doesn't mean he's going to run routes all the way across your face. They lost track of him, and because of that, it was a big explosive play. The Falcons have it with a first and ten. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. He's brought down at the 20. Brings up second down. And the Falcons are threatening in the red zone. The big fullback's got it. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Here comes the rush, and they've got it wrapped up at the 28. And 
And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. And the field goal unit is on the field. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. That is no good. Guys, after the miss, no change in the score. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. The errant 45-yard field goal try sets them up with the football on their own 28. They'll run the option. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. This offense has a second down play. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got enough for the first. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. If I'm building an offense in today's football, it's not around a quarterback that can. I'm going to find an athlete that I can give the ball because defensively, it starts to limit your coverages. It starts to limit what I can do. It makes me play the quarterback every single play. Just makes your job as a defensive coordinator extremely hard. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early go with the option quarterback keeps it himself and look we've seen this guy on tape guys break these tackles and take it the distance this offense should keep dialing up these option plays don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook that'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43 yard line Fullbacks are a dying breed but when you see him it just reminds you of the big old neck roll just huge stout fire plugs that you don't want to hit but on short yarded situations occasionally you give the big boy the ball there is no juke button there is no speed burst it is all power down your throat hitting you and falling forward and getting that first down After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Now on the option. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, how about that? They turn around and hand it off to the big fella, and he's able to get the first down. Nice play. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and ten again. Reading the option, it's Daly. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Goes to the option. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. And the fullbacks are just the big, burly, strong suckers. They got bloody knuckles, tape all over the place, and they're just lowering their shoulder, trying to hit you, trying to get positive yards, and it's exactly what he does on that play. The Black Knights look to do some damage in the red zone. Sticks it in his belly. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense.
defense breaks the huddle on third down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. The whole point of running the quarterback on these designed runs is to get an extra blocker. You should be getting more movement up front, but that time, guys were getting knocked backwards, and as a result, they actually lost to you. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. They're trying to get to him. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. I know that was tough, but as a quarterback, you got to know on fourth down, you cannot take a sack. Any way, shape, or form, you've got to be able to get rid of that football and give it an opportunity. That time, I know it wasn't blocked perfect, but the quarterback's got to have more sense of urgency. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. The option look. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On the option. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. No gain on the play. Brings up second down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. He'll ride his man on the option. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw, it's Busha. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Falcons are on the move. On the option. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not no happening. On the play. Second down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Couldn't find any room at all, and he'll lose seven on the play. Well, they're trying to go toss to the field and get that running back out into space to use his speed, but the defense looked like they were already lined up expecting that play, and they force a negative. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Forced out of the pocket. At the 40, there he goes. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Here comes the option. Oh, he left him grabbing. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. 
Well, that's just on the defense. I'm sorry. Fullbacks are not supposed to be able to rip off big runs like that. The defense, they better do a better job tackling as this game goes on. After coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays, here they are, first and goal. On the move. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Game of four. It's now second and goal. Second and goal coming up. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're going to fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield just like right there and create a TFL. Third and goal coming up here. To the air, it's Busha. Starting to feel a little pressure. And he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Falcons. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And it was capped off with the 8-yard run. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own 5. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive points. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. You open a drive like that, and the entire playbook opens up on first down from the 44. They'll run the option. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And here comes the offense on second down. On the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Loss of two. Third down coming up. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. To throw. It's Daly. Getting some heat. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And the Black Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. 
If you like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the fullback. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. On the play. It's third down. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. About a little time, lets it go. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just gotta be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you gotta make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. And the Falcons will bring the punt team onto the field. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. They'll run the option. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Here comes the offense on second down. Now on the option. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Third and short now, they snap it from their own 46. Back to pass, it's Daly. Gets it out quickly. Still running at the 40. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains, it's at the 37. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball, close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Running back goes in motion. Trying to find his man on first down. That's reeled in. It's Reynolds. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. They'll go to the fullback. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. Looking to throw for it. Grab near the marker, it's short. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. I like this call on third and two, just relied on timing and excellent execution. And I don't like the call for the defense. Third and two, you know the ball's gonna come out quickly. You gotta play more aggressive, take away those slants and those quick routes. Got it in the middle, it's Reynolds. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Man, these wide receivers are so athletic out wide. Now you're so worried about getting beat deep. And these slant routes, they can be a good changeup. I mean, just a couple steps, stick your foot in the ground, come inside. It might not be huge gains all the time, but man, it keeps that DB off balance. The back goes in motion. Now the play fake. Wide open downfield. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. 
Man, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route when he comes over continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And now a chance to pull even as we get late here in the first half. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Goes to the option. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. How many chances can you afford to waste in the red zone? They've already been stopped twice. Can they come through this time? It's third and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth and goal from the three. Let's see what this offense can dial up from here. The option look. He is denied. Stopped just short of the goal line. Pushed his way to the one and could go no further, and they'll turn it over on down on the option and he was able to get away from one tackle but plenty of help was on the way decent pickup on that play and they give it to the fullback going downhill right now and i tell you what most of the time the fullback takes you the ball but it's most of the time as a blocker and they give it to him really quickly linebacker comes down and meet him in the hole i tell you what that's big on big collision right there big boy pads and big boy pads the sweet feet keeping the play alive He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Falcons will boot it away to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Benson. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. He'll ride his man on the option. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Those fullbacks are grown men. Those guys are constantly hitting linebackers and blocking the whole entire game. So when you get a chance to give the big boy the ball, it's always, and you know what it is? It's a morale boost for everybody on the whole field. Everybody gets jacked up, and he finally gets to touch the football. They'll power it inside with the fullback. Now on second down. Fullback's got it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader.
Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Dropping back, it's Daly. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, they execute the end round. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. The Black Knights are moving quickly down the field. They're going back to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. On second down, looking to throw. That's caught. It's short. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Receivers working tirelessly, tapping that toe along the sideline, and it just looks so natural for him. Yeah, it can't just be pat and go all the time, right? He's just jogging down the field, ball hits you right in stride. you got to be able to make awkward body catches and do it getting your feet in bounds. That was sweet. Pressure coming. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You can tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. And the Black Knights will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. Hey, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on the board. They'll line up for a second down play. Scanning the field, it's Busha. He makes the connection. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. And they'll bring him down Martin after a short pickup. Gain of three. Brings up second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. On the option. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. And the Falcons have it with a first and ten. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's be honest, Reese. Like, the only time the fullback gets the football is usually in short guarded situations. And the defense was locked in. You got to try to get penetration with that defensive line. They did a good job of it. Nowhere to go with the football for the big foot. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense is really been bad. The Falcons will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10 yard First line. Foul, foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Makes the grab. It's Carson. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Oh, I love when they sneak the big fell out of the backfield. You know, usually blocking so much. Nice job with a little play action. Slide and give him the rock. After that last completion, it's second down. They'll run the option. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. I love it. What a play call. Going to the fullback in the running game, and he shows you that he's got some ability. This guy was a big-time high school running back, and he shows you the wiggle. He's got some ability to break tackles, and he helps his offense out. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. That's caught. It's Harris. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. He's not down. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. On the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. last play not what they had in mind and they've got a long way to go to get it close to the goal line to pick up a first down looking for a man it's Busha he wants it all right through his hands he had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in it'll be fourth down that's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on they like tackling the catch and they like being around the ball that time he was in proximity to knock that thing loose nice physical play Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the upright. He missed it. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They'll run the option. He'll keep it himself. And that ball's on the ground behind the line. Oh, and he gets it back so you can file that one under. Could have been worse. Doesn't it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds? You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I got to get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. He wants to go deep. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Afterburner's coming. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Brian Knights! Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to 
get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Here comes the two-point try. Looking to throw, it's Daly. He's got it in the end zone for the two, and they take an 8-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And they finish it off with a scintillating big play. 83 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead into the quarter break. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Now on the option. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Making sure the fullback gets a touch there. And good pick up there, five or six. Yeah, and he's a north-south runner. You just give this guy a little crease. He puts his foot in the ground, and he gets upfield quickly. And that guy is hard to bring down. They ran it on first down, now on second. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Dropping back, it's Daly. They're setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some range for their running back. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Black Knights getting set on first and ten. Using his legs, it's Stewart. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Calls his own number. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go with the QB design run, but nice job defensively. They were not fooled by it. They were physical up front, and guys defeating blocks able to get that tackle for loss. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. 
On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. Man, that is going to haunt this quarterback. He had his receiver running a deep route. He was open, and the QB overthrew him. Man, that sucks. And the Black Knights decide to punt it away. And that is textbook, instructional video, out of bounds, right around the goal line. Run it with the fullback. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. give to the fullback and a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback he's trying to keep these third downs manageable you know you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete now you've set up third and long and now you're set up to fail this is the type of play that can give the offense momentum third and short from inside the 20 the give to the big fullback He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And the Falcons will punt this one away. They'll look to pin him deep. Fair catch, called for and made. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. Goes to the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, that was just like trying to run through a traffic jam. No place for the big fella to go. Yeah, that's the whole key, Reese. You can't let the big fella get some steam. So you got to stop him in his tracks right away. The only way you do that is with penetration up front. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Quick toss. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe. The option look. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Loses two. Now a fourth down. The Black Knights will Number call 13. on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. On the option. Dances away from one. And the 45 on his way. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And, David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Well, this defense has to know that this fullback, he's not just a blocker. He's a guy that can carry the football as well. He went ahead and got that first down. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Picks up one. Brings up second down. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. He'll ride his man on the option.
They love to make this kick easier by picking up a few on third down. It's 56 yards out from here. To the air, it's Busha. A little screen to the running back. Oh, spins away. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. On the option. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Hand off to the fullback. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. This is as big a play as we've had in this game. Third down and three. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. That is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a single. And man, this kicker is now 0 for 3 in this game. And you got to wonder what his confidence is like right now. He's cost his team nine points so far. The cadets have it back. His army goes back on offense. The defense will have to key on the run and try to get this ball back. On the option, it's Daly. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. They'll run if they want to take their time here. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. Feeling some heat. And he can't get it off, taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Black Knights send out the punt unit. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. On first down, here comes this offense. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. Get it out on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Well, they don't pick up the first down there, but in this two-minute situation, they need their quarterback to be decisive, to be accurate, and make really good decisions. And we'll see what he's able to do as they inch closer and closer towards the goal line. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking to throw, it's Busha. Gets it out fast. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Timeout. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. 
The Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Here comes the option. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And the Falcons looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Give to the fullback. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first Time and goal out. from the eight. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. And a late opportunity to grab the lead here. A touchdown would be huge. The gift to the fullback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And he is stuffed. And I think the reason he's stuffed there is, think about it, the only time you really give the ball to the fullback is short yarded situations. The defense knew it was coming, played it fast, played it physical, and stopped them for a big loss. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And they'll finally track him down and shove him out of the two. Huge pressurized kick coming right now as this game hangs in the balance. And this one to put them on top, and it is getting late. What a disappointment. No good. And guys, not only a miss, but a missed opportunity to take the lead. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. 